Hello everybody and welcome to part 4 of the definitive uh, guide to, his, to the 2016 port of 7 Days to Die and today's episode we are doing uh, food. We are doing... So first I'm going to go over some of the, the plants that you can do, like you know, for farming and... So we got for plants, chrysanthemum. Goldenrod, corn, coffee, aloe, hops, uh, flowers, uh, mushrooms, yucca plants, uh, potatoes, blueberries, and cotton. There's three levels of farming you can do. You can do basic ground here. Then you can do uh, take a gardening hoe and, and till the ground, and then you can take it. A step further with fertilizer. This is your fertilizer. You can, which is made in either a, a cement mixer or in a chemistry bench, and uh, fertilizer will give you the most yield. Typically, for most crops, uh, you will get one back from just regular old ground, two for regular till ground, then fertilized ground will give you four. This goes for goldenrods, chrysanthemums, hops, aloe vera, coffee beans, potatoes, yucca tins, and, and blueberries. There are some exceptions here. There is the cotton which uh, starts at one but it'll give you three on till ground and also five on fertilized ground this goes to the same for corn so it would and then mushrooms there is it is actually two and then it goes for three on fertilized ground and then also uh, four for fertilized ground so it's kind of like if you really felt if you really didn't want to you could just do tilt ground for mushrooms, and one thing to note with mushrooms is, uh, I can't not confirm if this, this is true or not, but, uh, mushrooms can grow better in the dark. These, uh, so it's like, if you try growing mushrooms at the daytime, it's like they're not gonna be growing as uh, fast as uh, you would expect uh, with the regular plants, so it's best to have, like, uh, a nice, uh, dark area for them. And so, with all the plants that are being covered, I'm gonna go into foods. Foods, uh, of course, are made in the campfire. And I have just a few examples of what you can make here. You got meat stew, which gives you 27.8% fullness and 1.6 wellness per uh, per time you eat it. And it gives you a nice hot stew, which warms you up. Hit E1 right now, and you will see in your status menu a nice hot stew, and it will uh, it'll increase your core temperature by 14%. So this is made using corn, potatoes, and a raw meat and uh, a glass of water. And it is uh, very good for upping your wellness uh, later on. And then here we have cornbread, which if you want to get your uh, wellness up uh, early on, this is one of the best ways to and do it because all it takes is uh, you take a ear corn and then you craft it into one cornmeal, and all you need is a jar of water, and then you make it into a, a, a cornbread and uh, is very easy if you have a water source. And you got vegetable stew here, which is uh, the same recipe as meat stew, except you swap out the meat for uh, for the mushrooms, and then but it only gives you nine percent and nine point seven percent wellness and uh, point no, fullness and one point uh, one wellness. And then you got blueberry pie, which is using the blueberries. You get 
basically 14% wellness and 0.8 wellness. Uh, and then one thing to note with all drinks is uh, that you get that you want to increase your wellness gain from it. It is highly recommended to take it into the survivor, which gives you plus uh, minus 10% hunger degradation, but plus 11% well, wellness gain for every rank you take into it. And if you're really focused on making the most out of the wellness, uh, you would don't take into the camel, because that will slow down your thirst loss. And uh, the more you can, there drinks you can make uh, that will give you more. One other way to help uh, your wellness is, by default, the maximum wellness you can have is 200, and I believe the minimum wellness is 70. So if you take health nut, every rank it gives you a plus 10 maximum and minimum wellness. So you can go up to 250 health uh, if you take the time to go all the way up there with food and everything. And we're going to move on to drinks. So first you got beer. Beer is very good. It's, I believe it's made using murky water and the hops flowers. One thing with uh, hops flowers, uh, well hops is, uh, you can only get hops by and farming seeds, uh, which you have to buy from the trader. These are a uh, trader-only item in this version of the, con uh, the console reports, and and then, but beer is a very good drink. It you just drink it, and it'll give you the nice buzz effect. Nice buzz effect will it'll give you two stamina every one second. So it's like early on, if you find some beer, you can. You can take it and, and just keep uh, and keep on running for a while. Then you got coffee, which is a pretty good drink for if you just want a good little uh, stamina. You get the caffeine buzz effect going. It does take away 13.9% uh, wellness of your fullness and uh, point one of your wellness, but you get 100 stamina. And you get the caffeine buzz, just which is basically just like the beer, except I think it lasts a bit shorter than a beer. And then another stamina, you know, nice kind of drink for running uh, is green alcohol, which can be used uh, can be made using cornmeal. And the you get plus in stamina, and I think it's green. 6.9% de uh, loss in hydration, and uh, you get uh, loss of uh, 0.5 wellness. So not as bad as the, the coffee, but it basically is like another... It gives you the nice buzz effect again. So it's like if I had to choose between this and the beer, I would just recommend taking beer. Not really much. Huh. But the nice thing is you can... With beers, uh, if you... And, or wanting to make some money it is a decent way of making money. Uh, these uh, sell prowheads sell for over a thousand uh, for a stack of 15. And then we got red tea and goldenrod tea. They both give you plus 40 stamina and 27.8% hydration. And then they both give you 0 0.2 wellness. And they both can cure you of dysentery. And the thing is, with Goldenrod, it gives you, you know, one more burning effect removal, and Red Tea gives you a cool drink. And the thing is, with these two drinks, they are the best for helping gain wellness, and the reason why you want to keep, uh, you don't want to really take Camel, because that'll slow down your, your thirst degradation, and, uh, and so it's like, you can drink more for what you want, and... Oh, my, my character I'm freezing, but now we're going to move on to Yucca Juice. Yucca Juice, if you are near a, uh, near, if you're in a desert to start out with, and just start picking up and Yucca Fruit. What's really nice about Yucca Fruit is you can 
you don't need any water. It's you know, very handy. Literally, it only takes four yucca fruit and one glass jar. You only get 30 stamina from from in you know about 20 percent and 21 percent hydration and 0.1 wellness, but it is a very good affordable drink to craft early on. And so I think that concludes this uh, portion of the console edition definitive guide. Uh, and I hope you en enjoyed and maybe give uh, some of my other content uh, a watch like Challenge Master or even my uh, series The Hunter. I hope you all enjoy and have a great day, everybody.